All right, well, it looks like it's finally happened. I've achieved my dream job of becoming a border control officer. And it comes with a swanky new apartment for me to live in as well. Ah, communism. What's not to love? Anyway, I guess it's time that we head to work for our first day on the job. Entry is restricted to our Stotskin citizens only. Deny all foreigners glory to our Stotska. So I want to pay attention to the passport's nationality to make sure they come from here. This is my rule book. This is my audio transcript, this is my bulletin storage, and this is the time and date. And with that, we are now open for business. Hello, sir. Welcome to the border control checkpoint place. I'm here to check your passport. Well, it does look like you, Mr. William Napier, and it says that you are from East Greston, and you're from Arsdotska. Welcome home. Next, please. This checkpoint is smaller. Mate, what do you think this bloody is? The Grand Hyatt? You stupid idiot. Anyway, I'm glad to tell you that you have been denied entry. Bugger off. I have waited in this damn line for eight hours. I hope it was worth it. Lady, this isn't Krispy Kreme. Denied. Go home. And hello there, sir. Oh, would you look at the time? We're closed for the day. Come back later. Bye. Okay, it looks like I might need to do a little bit of budgeting here. So I had $30. I got paid $15. I spent $20 on rent, $10 on heat, and now I can't afford food. So this is basically Australia in 2024. Perfect. I'll just go and sleep off my poverty like I do in real life. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the hottest checkpoint in town. So it seems like from today, foreigners will the valid passport are allowed through. We've also had some hardware built in that automatically detects discrepancies. And then if we find those discrepancies, we can conduct an interrogation. That's what we like to hear. We love interrogations. Good morning, sir. How are you today? Welcome to this lovely place, Maximilian. You are going to be the very first person I try out this, um, this discrepancy thing on. How do I even do this? Okay, there we go. Well, that's you. Oh yeah, okay. Expiration date. Does that match up? Up. Is that all matching data? All right. Well, based on my findings, I will allow you entry. Welcome to this glorious nation of communism occupation. Next. Sorry, we're closed. <laughs> Psych. But your finger is expired. Unlucky time to be interrogated. Wish I knew how to do this. I do not know what to say. Well, that was a great interrogation. Thank you. Um, bye. Now, I don't like to discriminate against anybody, but this guy, I knew it, looks shifty as hell. Sir, I do not believe this is you, unless you're wearing a green mask. The years have been cruel. I don't know if I believe that, sir. I mean, this only makes you, what, 33 years old? They must have been some very cruel years, mate. Denied. All right, this lady is trying to flirt with me. What is it going? Oh, hold on a second. What is the meaning of this? Are you... Oh, well, okay, hold on. For <laughs> all your fantasies. The only fantasy I have right now, lady, is denying the vast majority of people standing in that line. Unfortunately for me, you made it through. All right, so, Eva... Oh, sorry. Sorry, we run out of time for... That, that alarm doesn't sound like run out of time. Hold on, that person just... Oh, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> no, the stripper just threw a bomb. I should have seen that one coming. Not my problem, though. Anyway, I've got $5 to my name, and things are going well at home. Wife's hungry, son is sick and hungry, mother-in-law is hungry, uncle's hungry. I'm just going to sleep, and so begins my third day at the booth. Now, apparently, all foreigners require an entry ticket, which means even more opportunities to deny people entry. Hello, sir. Can I have a look at your passport? Where's your little... T oh, this is your ticket? Okay. Is this valid? Let's see. Unfortunately, it is. And your passport is too. And this is definitely you. All right, then. Fine. Come on through. Now, seeing as my family is starving, uh, I can... <laughs> I can make you happy anytime. Well, that's good to know. Seeing as my family is starving... I feel like I should probably blitz through this day and try and get as many people through or not as I can. So, um, you've been approved. I didn't really pay attention. I'm just gonna hope that, you know, everything checks out. Please don't throw a bomb. Please don't throw a bomb. Please don't throw a bomb. Now, this is an interesting looking passport. I've not seen anything like this before. Mr. Daniel Jenkinski, who comes from Kalekia in, uh, Vidor. Okay, that checks out. The dates also check out too. Alright, mate, welcome to this great nation of constipation. Hope you have a great vacation. 
Well, your entry ticket is expired, mate. What do you got to say about your, your mistake? Your mistake that you, you know what? Denied. Now, this guy's from Obrastan in um, Laundaz. All right, that checks out. However, it seems like your passport has expired, you stupid idiot. That must be a typographical area. Yeah, mate, I'm pretty sure you're a typographical area. Go home. This guy looks sus as. Look at him. He's shifty and he's going on all this nationalist blue blood. Doesn't even give me a passport. What the hell, mate? This entrant has no documents. To proceed, use inspect to interrogate. Oh, I like that. All right, we're gonna inspirigate. Inspirigate. <laughs> we're gonna inspirigate, mate. No correlation. I don't even know. What am I inspirigating? Okay, mate, where's your passport? You don't have one. Well, tell me where it is. Passport. Oh, great passport. Not required, right? No, you need a passport. Fine, I hear you. I'll come back again. <laughs> what a goofball. Anyway, my family once again is doing splendidly, which is great. I've got no money, which is even greater. Maybe by tomorrow they'll all be dead and I'll have a whole lot more money. Checkpoint expansion postponed. Lax immigration? Excuse me. There is nothing lax about the way I do my job. Oh wow, even more snipers. Love to see it. So we've abandoned entry tickets. Residents need an ID card. Foreigners require an entry permit with one of two valid seals. And we are now open for business. Come on down. Good morning, sir. Let me make your dreams come true. Wow, this is very official looking. Mate, all of your documents are so good. Everything looks perfect. I'm very impressed. Have a great time. All right, Beatrix, why don't we got entry ticket? No, these are no longer valid, mate. I'm not even wasting my time with you. Bugger off. Excuse me, language. Anyway, it seems like our old mate is here. Now I have passport. It is still best country for sure. Mate, mate. <laughs> You're not even trying... Actually, you probably are trying. The only problem I'm seeing is that you just don't have an entry permit. One, two, three, four, okay. And that, that seems pretty legit from Bestberg. <laughs> yeah. And your expiration is 2013. Wow, you, you really, you know, you bought one of those long lasting passports. But as much as it pains me, I'm gonna have to reject you. Come back next time with the entry permit. Well, it seems like my family's still alive and I'm still broke. But I feel like maybe if I catch this wanted murderer at the border, they might give me a bonus. Vince Lestrade. Alright, I'm gonna find you, Vince Lestrade. Oh, look at this. It's Vince Lestrade. Hello, Vince. I've, um, I've got, uh, you know, I was reading the story about you here. Do not believe the Republican lies. I'll let the gulag be the judge of that. Oh, look, our mate's back. How you going, old friend? Are you, you're getting better and better every time. This actually looks fully legit, but you're still missing the bloody entry permit. Oh, man, you're funny guy. No, I'm not joking. I'm serious. Sorry, mate. Oh, I guess I'll see you, <laughs> see you again tomorrow. Oh, Oh, hold on a second. It looks like we might have a... Oh, well, that's another workday cut short by some maniac with a bomb. Oh, everyone died too. Well, okay, I guess that means I'll have a little bit more money now. Life is quite the prankster, though, leaving me with only my mother-in-law left alive. Your entire family is gone. The Ministry of Labor focuses on the future growth. Workers are expected to support healthy family... Oh... I don't have one of those anymore. Your position will be filled by someone. <laughs> no, but I was doing so well. Ah, communism. What's not to love?